Hi everyone. I just wanted to take a couple minutes and share with you one of my favorite all-time scriptures and I hope it helps you get your week started off right. I hope it helps you get your day started off right and it's found in Hebrews 1.3 and the reason I love it is because it tells us who God is and who Jesus is all in one sentence and I'm going to read it from the Passion Translation. It says this, it says, the sun is the dazzling radiance of God's splendor. The dazzling radiance of God's splendor. The exact expression of God's true nature. The exact expression of God's true nature, his mirror image. So that's why Jesus could say, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. All that's in the heart of God, listen to what I'm about to say because this is the crux of everything. All that is in the heart of God for his people is brought to us through the person of Jesus Christ and through the power of the Holy Spirit. So what, what does the life of Jesus, if you think about the life of Jesus and what you've read in the Bible about the things that Jesus did, what does the life of Jesus show us about God's heart toward us and what God wants to do in our lives? If you look at the gospel, what did Jesus do? Look at the gospels. He healed the sick. He raised the dead. Uh, every town and village he went into, he brought redemption. He restored the broken. He loved the rejected. He cast out demons. He set captives free. Over and over again in the scripture, we see the heart of God revealed, the heart of God revealed to the people of God and it's expressed in the life of Jesus. Over and over again, we see the heart of God for his people expressed in the life of Jesus. And that's why we don't have to question. That's why we don't have to question, is it God's will for me to be healed? We don't have to question, is it God's will for me to have the provision that I need? Uh, because we know based on the life of Jesus and the fact that Jesus's life is the mirror image of God, we know that our provision, we know that our healing, we know that our salvation, all of these things are the purpose and plan of God for our lives. So I just want to encourage you with that today. Um, I, 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 want, I want to ask you, go back, look at your Bibles, look at it on the, on the Bible app, whatever you read, and look at Hebrews 1.3. Read it over and over again. Read it out loud. Read it before you go to bed at night. Read it before you get up in the morning. And begin to ask God to begin to bring that revelation uh, to your heart based on that scripture verse, the exact expression of the nature of God. That's who Jesus is toward us. And look at Hebrews 13, 8. I know Pastor Justin mentioned this in his message yesterday. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That means whatever you saw Jesus do in the Bible, he still does today. The big difference is he does it through the church. He does it through you and me, through born again believers. So whatever you've got going on, listen, I want you to understand this pandemic that we've all been going through for the last two or three months did not take God by surprise. He is not shocked. He's not surprised. He, he wasn't left without provision. He doesn't leave us without provision. And that's what you need to understand. He knows the end from the beginning and he's got your back. He's got you covered. He said, the glory of the Lord shall be our rear guard. So I want you to just know and understand that whatever you've got going on today, Jesus, the son of God is your healer. He's your shepherd. He's your protector. He's your provider. He's your friend. He's your peace. The list just goes on and on. And I'm just asking you to, to ask God to help you lay your fears aside, lay your worries aside, lay your doubt and unbelief at his feet and let the spirit of God, let the son of God move in your heart and in your life today. Let's pray. Father, we thank you once again for your goodness. We thank you, God,
that you have promised that your glory would be our rear guard, that you would go before us and you would be behind us. We thank you that you have us hemmed in. We thank you that you have us covered with your protection. We thank you for the shed blood, God, that you shed for us, that we could have eternal life in you. And Father, we just give you the glory. We thank you for your goodness. God, I ask you to stir our hearts to a place of hunger for your word and hunger for your presence like we've never before known. And God, we just give you the glory. We know that you are in control. We turn our lives over to you and we thank you for your goodness in Jesus name. All right, everybody have a great week and have a great day. God bless.